Well, agroforestry means different things to different people, of course. Uh, but in ICRAF, we have uh, quite a, a broad uh, view of what agroforestry means. Uh, of course, it en encompasses the whole set of uh, systems and practices that one uh, associates with the theme, uh, such as multi strata systems with the uh, major beverage crops, for example, uh, civil pastoral systems, uh, practices such as uh, living fences, uh, home gardens, but also, a, a, a slightly speaking in a, in a broader sense, uh, we think agroforestry um, is best understood as, as, as wise use or deployment of, of trees in, in farms and, and on, in landscapes generally. Yeah, uh, well in, in Latin America uh, we have uh, three, um, three priority research areas in terms of geography. Uh, we've, we're quite strongly concentrated in, in Peru where most of our personnel is. Uh, we, we also have smaller offices in, in Belen, eastern uh, Brazil, in Pará, and also uh, in Costa Rica in association with, with Katia. So, um, of course, each of those sites has its particular focus. Uh, but basically, we have, uh, we have three, three strong uh, overall, overall themes. You know, one, uh, we see in historically in agroforestry, uh, we think there's been a, a tendency some places to emphasize more the, the in environmental uh, uh, values associated with agroforestry, which are fairly widely accepted. Uh, but then you, you kind of get a sort of profitability gap. Uh, so we, we're very keen on, on, on closing that profitability gap, if I can call it that. So we have a, a strong uh, component on, on value chains, uh, understanding uh, particularly how, how value chains can be, can be put together and, and used to, to, uh, to respond to the, the problems we're interested in, which are the same problems which interest the rest of the, the CGR, of course. Um, we also have a focus on uh, on-farm productivity um, from various points of view. Um, we have a, a, a long-standing program in tree domestication uh, and also some uh, work we're, we're beginning uh, looking at uh, effects of uh, uh, diversity, um, functional diversity, taxonomic diversity uh, within farm. Uh, on um, on incomes, on, on vulnerability, um, particularly thinking of climate change. And then on top of that, uh, we also have, well, perhaps not on top, but to one side on that, we have a, uh, a strong area of work on, on uh, uh, at the landscape level, uh, which at the moment focuses on uh, looking at uh, re uh, emissions reductions in all the landscape. So we, we're interested in, in, in on-farm forests, but we're also interested in uh, increasing carbon stocks on farms. So you can imagine our work kind of forming a triangle, uh, these three uh, points of the triangle. And what we seek is, is to get some kind of integration between those three uh, areas. You know, so, so we can answer, we can answer multidisciplinary problems in a multidisciplinary way. My, my uh, disciplinary background is in genetics, and it remains my really my main interest and, and passion. And uh, something which always strikes me is, is the global importance of a lot of uh, uh, agroforestry species uh, from Latin America. And th there's a, a long list of, of uh, maybe 40 or 50 species which are quite widely used all, all over the world, from well-known perennials to, 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 to less well-known species, including fruit species, timber trees, timber species, uh, the kind of uh, global stars of agroforestry like you know, Lucene or, or Lyricidia, and also a whole bunch of other species in another, another category. The anato in your butter example that gives it that nice color comes from Latin America. So uh, that motivated me to think a little bit about, uh, about the question of whether these resources are, are really being looked after. So I, I spoke in the conference on, on, uh, on the theme, which is at least a novel term of agroforestry 
genetic resources and uh, what are the areas of concern in terms of uh, the conservation of those resources. I think, uh, well, yes, uh, I think all conferences help to you know, cement relationships. Uh, I think if you, if you think there's going to be some kind of uh, you know, quantum leap forward just based on one conference, I think everyone knows that's, that's not going to happen. No? But um, uh, it's, a, it's been a useful event, and uh, I think uh, one particular um, advantage of of UFO lattice, it's relatively small size, so um, it's manageable. You get, you get to talk to a lot of people, and you get to hear your voice heard. Uh, so I think in terms of, of, of building partnerships, and uh, it's it's been been very valuable. I think. Yeah.